What platform did I go to? He dips through the wall. What, at, at, at what plat platform? Platform 69. Which one? Platform nine, 2B. Nine 2B. In... No, Joshua. Let me finish. Which one? It's <laughs> platform nine and three quarters. It is platform nine and three quarters. You know what, mate? I think the, the problem is that you, ha you don't have any magic in your soul as a person. And that's why you and Harry Potter don't get on. Platform, what? Nine and three quarters. Yeah. That's the pun. That it's not a platform that muggles can get to. That muggles can get to. Muggles Bro? are normal people. Non-magical. We don't use the word yes. normal. Oh. Non-magical people. Non-magical people. Non-magical people. So you and I are muggles. Have you ever seen me play rugby? I'm magic. Fair. So you're a retired non-muggle. Non-muggle. I'll give you that. None. Yeah. I said none. None. Yeah, you're a retired non-muggle. Well, I'm Max really Troy time. Are you with Kanan today? Kanan, Kanan can... how are you doing? Are you good? I was doing good until I heard you mock Harry Potter. I do that a lot. And a lot of people get very upset about it. But... We know we have this divide in our friendship. We, we do, but you have agreed that the first three are not good. Wow. That's not what I said. The first three are phenomenal, just they're learning how to act on the job. Any other job in the world, so, I dare you to learn while doing it. But We're going to build this house and just learn yeah, while we might... go. Before we get into this episode, we'd like to thank our partners, SofaWorks. SofaWorks are a family-owned, proudly South African, quality furniture manufacturing company. The, fir the first three films are definitely carried by the... Adults. The older actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. Um, but later on... And then Dumbledore, the, the guy who plays Dumbledore in the first, like, maybe one or... I don't know if it's, like, three or two, dies. And they replace him with an actor called Michael Gambon, who... Wait, like, is, died for real? Or, like, died in the show? It's a movie. And a book. It's not a show. But they died for real. The actor that they cast to play Dumbledore... The actor, the actor they plastered the cast to play Dumbledore died, and they reply, replaced him with an, a, a Scottish actor called Michael Gambon. Oh, I hope he's Scottish. A Scottish actor called Michael Gambon. I, I believe you. Um, but yeah, they carry it. Him and Maggie Smith, who plays Professor McGonagall, they carry the first couple of movies, and then they learn how to act all of a sudden. And then the, the and me then, and Amy, oof, I like a million you, times better. Every December, you watch. Yeah, I would all say it's an unofficial official. British thing to do is in, to watch in Christmas time. All the Harry Potters. Yeah. You also read the books here every year. Oh. No, that's <laughs> what. <laughs> do you know that's what I, that, that's what me and that's what me and Amy got Amy's cousin for Christmas, the one that lives with them. The books. Yeah. All of them. Beautiful. All nine. I think there's eight. Eight. All eight of the Harry Potter books. I don't know if there's seven actually. There's the there's the Goblet of Fire. That is one of them. There's the Half-Blood Prince. That is one of them. But there's two of those. No. Fuck. There's the Half-Blood Prince. Yeah, not, there's, no, there's, there's none the of Chariot the books. Of are, Fire. None of the, none of the, the books are, none of the books are two-parters, mate. The books are just... Oh, the movies are a two-parter of a book that was a one-parter. Mm. They're all school years that they have in secondary school. That's pretty cool. I didn't know You'd that. You'd know that if you A, watched the movies or B, read the book. I but, have uh, watched the movies. I watched all of the them. first... All of them. Nah. So you... Nah. Nah. I watched the first three. I'm just going to out... I'm going to out you to the world. Go, go, go for it. Lord of the Rings? Yes. And? L really, really enjoy it. Yeah. How long did I beg you yeah, to watch yeah, yeah, that yeah. movie? I watched movies. the first one. The second one we tried to watch, but then they removed it off the thing we were watching on. I don't know if it was Disney or Apple or Netflix or one of the 19 different streaming platforms we now have. But they removed it off of there, so we couldn't find it. But we were watching the extended versions, so they're like really, really long. We watched the first one and loved it. I can this far in say that the first Lord of the Rings... So you haven't seen the other two? I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, like, also, Seb doesn't want me watching them without him. A friend of ours is a huge fan. So he's walking me through them. But you haven't seen them. So I, I just asked you how you sort of felt about Lord of the Rings. You've seen the first one. Yeah. Do you know what happens? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In the first one? No, in the, the trilogy. Well, I haven't seen it yet. So I could guess. I could please guess. Don't. No, please don't. Please don't. Good versus evil, good wins. <laughs> I mean, 
Thank yeah, you very much. Nailed it. Swing and like, a hit. There's pretty much the same formula I'm for all these movies. I'm upset with you. I remain upset but with you. The first... Have you seen all the Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. What? Where are your priorities as a human being yeah, 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 that you've yeah. seen all of the Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean, yeah. you've seen one of the Lord of the Rings, yes. and like 40% of the Harry Potters? That's a pretty good what did you do? Right what did there. you do with your childhood? What did you do? Watched all of the Fast and Furiouses again and again and again and again and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. okay. my, my, my dad and I would sit and watch the first and second Fast and Furious like every weekend. I was a huge Paul Walker fan. Yeah. And you know what? What? better actor than every child in Harry Potter. So like, oh, so they didn't fly on cleaning products. No, but they're now they flying, drove cars. They're flying cars in space now. Yeah, now it's ridiculous. Yeah, now even, it's going to be over the top. Me. There don't, I understand. At least in Harry Potter, they're like full send, this is magic. Now, Fast and Furious, they have cars in space and they're like, yeah, yes. normal. Yes. What did, I, yes. did I think I watched him like drive a car off of a building? Yes. It is very upsetting what's happened. I understand it makes a lot of money. But do you, you understand? Want to put us do you understand in in, in the line that's drawn in the sand? Where you're on the the Fast and Furious side and not the Harry Potter Lord of the Rings side. I'm on the very uncultured side of film, thousand percent. But I'm getting cultured. We watched watched Aaron Brockovich, loved it. Watched The Breakfast Club, loved it. What was the one we watched last night? We watched Pretty Woman, loved it. That is a 10 out of 10 movie. He is probably the smoothest individual I've ever seen in my life. Although I think if you behaved like that now, you'd probably get cancelled. You need to watch Jude Law play a character called Alfie. The movie's called Alfie, but that's a conversation for another day. I haven't watched that yet. I like Jude Law. He's cool. Is he British? Yeah. He's, He's like, when we, were, when we were nailing, like, cult every culture was, we love British culture, like Colin Firth, Jude Law... Colin um, Farrell, although he's Irish. 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 If there's, uh, if there's, I, I course corrected. If there's something that I'm like, okay, so we spoke about this before, right? The difference in um, British and English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh. It depends who you ask and what has happened. So, for Andy Murray is a Scottish tennis player. You but said this. If okay. Andy Murray wins, he's best believe he's British. Hate that. But if he loses, that is a Scotsman. Don't you hate that you guys do that? No. <laughs> Cheat code. <sighs> That's the worst. It's probably... It, it's the worst. It's the worst. Watch until something comes out about Harry Potter and then the whole of Britain's going to be like, no, it goes on our movies. No, don't you dare. Don't yeah, you dare. Wait that for is it. the British... I will say that one of the things we've given to the world in the last 20 years is definitely Harry Potter. People love it, man. I think you is have any magic thing? in your soul. What? Harry Potter? Yeah. J.K. Rowling, the author, is a British chick. Do they have British accents in it? <sighs> Do they have British accents in it? They have, they have American Did accents. Did you watch the movie? Dude, you'll be shocked. It's so, it's so British. It's is so... It? Br oh, Hermione. Yeah, 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 it is. It is, oh, it is. Fuck. I just needed a cue. Oh. I just needed a cue. Oh, goodness Oi, me. Oi, Hermione. <laughs> Clip Platform it. nine and three quarters. Yeah, there you go. The, I'm you've nailing created, this accent. What the you've created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Platform nine. Yeah. Mm. Did you bring Fly me on here? Fly brooms. Huh? Did you bring me here to mock me and my people? The later Harry Potters are really good. You haven't seen them to know that they're good. I've, no, I've, I've, I've seen don't one of them. To the no, I've seen one of them. What have you seen? I don't know. It was the fifth or the sixth one. <laughs> Just, Clap to your straws. Don't, no, don't give them out. No, just do not give them out. No, no, what actually, happened in I, the movie? I did watch the fifth what or happened in the movie? Do you want me to give you a breakdown of what I remember from all of them? No, what happened in that one that you've seen that you said is good? No, no, because in my no. head... Because you're lying to me, all, Joshua. I swear to you, I watched the fifth or sixth one. I fell asleep during the second one. Oh, God. That's truth. Here's what I remember out of all the Harry Potters. They play Quidditch... Yeah, I remembered that with a little ball that zips around. Called a. It's called a. Uh, uh, um, they play Quidditch. Golden snitch, Josh. <laughs> the dog is a golden snitch. They play Quidditch. Uh -huh. They go through the wall at the train station. Right. What platform? Platform nine and three quarters. Right. Then, the dude that turns into a wolf dies. Then there's a giant spider. Then Robert Patterson pitches up and he dies too. They go to a swamp. Or there's, a swamp. There's, there's a room full of stairs that don't actually go anywhere. 
the paintings move. Oh, God. The hat talks. Oh, God. You choose your house based on your good or bad behavior. No, it's not based on your good or bad behavior. It's based on your talent, eh? What kind it's of? It's a racist it? school, eh? They're yeah. racist, eh? Just I no, it. it's, it's based on it. where they think you're going to perform what best and how your personality fits them. It's a really big deal. Like, okay. a lot of people go onto a, a website called Pottermore and, like, fill out the forms and, like, they ask them questions and then they get sorted. Yeah. Did you do it? 100%. Did. Where did you get sent? Guess. I, I don't know if you know enough about Harry Potter to know. The, well, I know there's the bad house. Who is called? Gryffindor. I, I don't know if you're doing it on purpose or not. Nah, dude, I'm literally just shooting from the hip. Yeah, I'm genuinely honest. Gryffindor? Is the good guys. They're the good guys. They're the good... Do oh, it's, it's with an S. I literally almost said salamanders. Hey, that's Slytherin. not... Slytherin! Slytherin? There's Gryffindor, Slytherin. There's like a hippie one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's, it sounds like they smoke weed. Something with stoner in it. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff! <laughs> That is definitely the stoner crowd. It is the stoner crowd. So it's Gryffindor, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. You were definitely... Wait, are you, are you proud of it? Are you proud of your answer? What's the fourth house first? Oh, shit, there's a fourth one. Yeah. I don't know. Ravenclaw. Fuck me, Ravenclaw. Oh. I don't know if I can be seen out in public with you. Ravenclaw. You didn't get into Ravenclaw. Okay, so I would say that, like, of you the You would four, not be Hufflepuff. Correct. I want to say Slytherin, but I feel like you got Gryffindor because oh, you're Griffin super stoked. Oh, Gryffindor. See? I know this stuff. Because I'm a jock. Because I'm a jock, really, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, that's how I'd describe Is it. it. If like I had to describe ability? it to you, it kind of. If I had to describe it to you, it's like, I would say that Hufflepuff are like the hippie, floaty people. Ravenclaw yeah. is like the academically uh, inclined people. Okay. Slytherin are like, evil's not a word I'd use because not all Slytherins are evil. I don't know, man. Could be some nice ones out there, but they're like cutthroat, want to win at all costs. And then okay. Gryffindor is like, I would say, I would describe if you had to think of like a classical jock, there'd be a Gryffindor. I don't know. That's my, that's what I'd okay. say. Where did Harry go? Gryffindor. Where did but, Hermione go? But the sorting hat said that he would do great things in Slytherin. He was like, I don't want to be in Slytherin. Then they put him in Gryffindor. Oh, really? Everyone, everyone's, listen, everyone that you know of is probably in Gryffindor, apart from Draco Malfoy. You know who he is, do you? Yeah, I know he's the bad dude. He's, he's the, the bad dude. dude. He's someone we know, and then they move to Cape Town, but they don't live in Cape Town, but they do. Those people. Tom Felton. Yeah, he's dating, yeah, that guy. dating his South people. Yeah, they've got a. They get everywhere. Uh, they're South Africans, though. Eh? They've got a place, yeah. Yeah, so they come here for holidays. Okay, cool. So now I've had a whole breakdown of Harry Potter. Now I know stuff. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Huffle, Huffle Puffle, <laughs> and uh, and uh, um, Ravenclaw. Um, what are your other Christmas movies? Okay, so... Home Alone. There's, there's two categories here, I just need to say this. Okay. There are Christmas movies... Okay. ...and movies that happen at Christmas. Ooh. So, the best example of a movie that happens at Christmas is Die Hard. It could happen at any other time of the year. Okay. It happens at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't make it a Christmas movie. Yes. Does that makes sense? You. I'm with you. Like, Claws... Klaus, whatever you want to call it, that's a Christmas movie. That movie is all about Christmas and yes. Elf, Christmas movie. So there are two differing things, I would say. Home Alone Christmas movie because it happens at Christmas time of the year in the movie. I would argue that Home Alone is indeed... This is controversial. Yeah, yeah. I would argue that Home Alone is indeed a movie that happens at Christmas. Not a Christmas movie. Because they, they could be going on holiday anywhere. And no, forget no, him. But they go on holiday at Christmas. I understand, but they could go on holiday. They could have been a summer holiday and they left them at home. It's not an integral part. I understand what you're saying. It's not movie. key to the plot. Yeah, I mean, look, it's Christmas morning, I think, and it's busy and whatever. I don't, I don't know that it's key to the plot that it happens at Christmas. It is also the bad guy's reason to break in still. Because it's Christmas, I get it. Yeah. But they're also like scouting the house out and being like, oh, they've gone on holiday. Fair. Um, Fair. But like I said, there's a, there's a difference. The In terms of my favourite <laughs> Christmas movie, yeah. Polar Expre Express. It's flipping amazing. I, no, we I'm, don't agree on Harry Potter? I'm not going to high-five you because I know what the rest of your movie taste is. 
So I don't ever want to be I love Polar Express. Movie. No, Polar Express is phenomenal. Polar Express is fire! Uh, Polar Express is my favourite Christmas movie. I think... Also, what, the animation was way ahead of its time. Right? Yeah. And Tom Hanks is a stud. Tom Hanks is... Anything Tom Hanks touches, he goat, turns to gold. Oh, God. Gosh. Oh, you're not going to like me for this. Hit me. What? Not a fan. <sighs> okay, let's move on and continue with Christmas yeah, movies. Yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. like... He's yeah. the world's grandfather. Yeah. Which I understand. Your favourite Christmas movie? Oh, also, Elf is an honourable mention. Doesn't like Elf. Jess doesn't like... I love Elf. Uh-uh. Fan of Elf? That, do you know what that is? It's because you're the, the golden retriever boyfriend. I was going to say, that's why I didn't think you would like Elf. Oh, no, I could be a silly goose at Christmas. Silly I, goose. I know I'm a very serious man, but I can be a silly goose at Christmas. Okay, so I'll, so I'll slide in. Let my hair down. Watch a bit of Elf. Home Alone? Not a Christmas movie. But continue. But like, I'm saying like, like my top five. Okay. Home Alone, the cartoon version of The Grinch. You made by movie. Illumination, the same people. So that again, that is a Christmas movie. Because yes. It's, it, the Grinch that stole Christmas is part of the Spot whole on. plot. Spot on. Original Grinch terrifies me. Jim Carrey. Fucking The way he me. moves his face is it's not very scary. Human. The Grinch and Cat in the Hat are my two worst movies because they both terrify me. Imagine a man-sized cat ran in this room now and just <laughs> fucked everything and up. And spoke. And spoke. Fucked everything up. Be and quite, then put be you good. in a different world and then brought you home just in time for your parents to walk in and be like, come on, how's your holiday? That's the most stressful, anxiety-inducing story you ever I'll made. I'll be honest, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? Don't watch it, it's not worth it. Um, so they live in this town where everything looks the same and that freaks me out and makes me feel like... Christmas movies, Josh. Christmas movies. Stick on, stick on, <clears> stick on task. Cartoon Grinch, Die Hard's definitely in there. <laughs> I know it's not a Christmas movie, but it, I, I watch it. Fine, I'm gonna let it slide. For the good of the um, show, I'm gonna let it slide. Damn, I need to find two others. There was something I watched the other day. Uh, Harry Potter's aren't in them, unfortunately. I will watch one of them before the New Year to keep everyone happy, because now I'm gonna get a rain fire on for this. What are yours? Klaus, phenomenal film. Which Pope. one's Klaus? It's an animation. It's oh, I haven't seen it. Really, s- it's a great movie f- to to watch, but it's quite hard hitting and sad. It's about how Santa Claus becomes Santa Claus, but so it's a very off. It's it's a very out of the box kind of theory of how he becomes Santa Claus. It's a really unique story, but it's phenomenal. So cool. long story short, he he used to be a, sh- a toy maker in this town. Yeah. And his wife dies and he loses his want to build and make toys. He becomes yeah. a bit of a grumpy old man. And through getting a relationship with this postman who, fight, who comes to this town, he builds himself back up to start making toys again. Sick. And he wants to start giving the kids of the town something special and then that grows and grows and grows. But it's just a really, really beautiful film. Dope. Poe Express, Klaus, Elf is up there. I have a, a curveball... One of my favourite ones is Love Actually. That's a really good film. Plot twist, Love Actually is probably, it goes in the category of films that happen at Christmas. It's not a really integral part of the of the movie. But in the timeline. But in, in the time, basically it's that period of time in the UK that I told you my favourite, the only time I miss London is like the week of Christmas. Yeah. Just yeah. because it's such a fun place to be in, in town at that time. Um, so it's like the seven day. It's like the, the two weeks before Christmas, actually, is the run up. Yeah. And it's one of those like um, ensemble cast movies, like New Year's Eve and, and that kind of stuff. Oh, is it one of like, those? It's like 15 cast members and you, co- you yes. follow like five stories of is. it. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. so many different. And basically each story is a different kind of love. So it's like a father and a son's oh, love. And that's cool. And their wi- his wife has died and it's the, su- the, the, the love of the father and the son together. Yeah. It's a man trying to like discover the love he has for himself. There's, there's some sad stories and some really nice stories. It's a great movie. Just yeah. don't watch it with your parents or your grandparents. What is there, sex in it? There is a, uh, <laughs> one of the, probably my favourite story in it. It's hilarious. It's Simon Pegg and he plays... Is he from Hot Fuzz? Yes. No, I'm wrong. It's not Simon Pegg. <laughs> You're thinking of Simon Pegg, right? That is Simon Pegg, right? Peg, yeah. It's someone who looks British. like him. Uh, he is actually um, Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit. But I can't remember his, I can't remember his name now, but regardless... Okay, okay. I actually know who that Martin is, believe it or not. Freeman? Martin Freeman, maybe? Either way, he plays <laughs> someone who is a body double. Jamie, bring that up. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was to say, Jamie, bring it up. Yeah. Pull that out for no me, Jamie. Hey, hey pull that out for me, Jamie. Jamie, bring it up. Who's he play? In Love, actually. Yeah. Uh, he plays a body double for a, mo- for, uh, a movie star. Yeah. Who, it, specifically for sex scenes. It's so funny to watch him and the other body double. Ah, uh, Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman. Did I say Martin Freeman? I think that's it. Loaded. Who? To be a sex body double. Surely you're like packing. So he's not. He's an actor, but he plays in the film a sex body double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. he's. It's about him and the other sex body double creating like some form of relationship and they're like okay. flirting. They're not flirting with each other. It's about the awkwardness of it. Yeah. So at one point, at one point, um, her boobs are out and the, the, the director's like, grab her boobs. And he's like, oh, let me just warm my hands really quick. Sweet, it's man. So funny. That's it's amazing. Like, it's like how sweet he is in those interactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. But he plays one of those ensembles. But yeah, because of those scenes, don't watch it with your parents because you will be scarred for life. Okay. Um, but that. that is one of my favourite... Shit, we went on a bit of a tangent there. That's one of my favourite Christmas movies. Polar Express is definitely on top oh, five. I can't, flipping phenomenal. I that, 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 is, that is a Christmas Eve film if I've ever yes, seen one. that's a good one. That's um, a really, really good I one. I like Four Christmases. That one's not bad. Isn't that Vince, is that Vince Vaughan and Reese Witherspoon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a banger. I quite I like that movie. I love Vince Vaughan, so, like, great movie. Uh, is this a Christmas with the Cranks? Miracle on 34th Street. You ever heard of it? Ooh, what's that? Old school, old school Christmas movie. Go watch it. That's a goodie. I need a fifth. I don't really have a fifth right now. Because you don't maybe, watch maybe films. Maybe I'll put one of the Harry Potters in there. But I'll put the last one in. It's not a Christmas movie. It's not, it's not a Christmas film, man. Huh? But it happens around Christmas. No, it happens over like the span of a, of, of a school year. So Christmas yeah, happens. Yeah, because you need that long if I can watch it. Christmas happens. Yeah? In it. And there's like Christmas Does it? scene. Yeah, because it's a school year. Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Because our school... What's Christmas like in the Harry Potter world? Snowy, bro. And magical because it's fucking magic, Josh. Okay, I see. Oh, the car flies! Oh, fuck, Sorry. man. Sorry. I, I, there was another thing that I remember out of, like, the oh, stuff. Yeah, Josh. yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'd be in Gryffindor. I don't think you'd be in Gryffindor. What do you think I'd be? Hufflepuff? Yeah, Hufflepuff. I'll fucking take it. I'm in Hufflepuff. It's another movie that you had the unfortunate experience of watching with your parents. Game of Thrones. I didn't know what Game of Thrones was like, and then my dad was like, "There's this new series," and, and you went in there. He was like, <laughs> "He was like, I'm gonna put it on," and he pressed play, and he was like, "Canan, it's just tits and dragons, man." And I was like, "Oh god!" You were like, "Oh, oh no!" God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! It's almost no. worse that he acknowledged yeah, 100%, it. Yeah, hundred percent. He like yeah, looked yeah, me yeah. in the eye. and was like, "Canan, yeah. it's just tits and dragons, yeah. man." Yeah. Because now when the he missed, he no, but when like Game of Thrones was progressing, he was like, "You watch tits and dragons this week," and I was like, "Oh." You were like, oh, this is not going 60 year well. Sixty-year-old man. I watched. I think I'm really uncultured. I watched. Excuse Game me, of say that again. Just repeat that louder. I did watched it, it. Did you just have an epiphany, a sudden moment of self-realization? I don't know. I kind of just watch things that like. But anyways, carry on. Sorry. Yeah. I watched Game of Thrones until Momoa died, and then I went, "This is a prehistoric Grey's Anatomy. Everyone's gonna pig," and so I pulled out. No, but it makes more sense in Game of Thrones than it does in, like... In Grey's Anatomy, why would you ever go to that hospital if all the doctors die all it's the time? It's a very, very good point. Why would you go? Look, I never watched Grey's Anatomy. You know when My they, mom watched it. I like, there's a sweet spot. This is a massive tangent, but there's a, when you find a new show to watch, there's a sweet spot of seasons. Yeah. If you've got, like, four to five seasons, I'm in. Grey's Anatomy is on, like, season 14. Nah, I'm Who out. has that much time nah, on their I'm hands? Done. Dude, it's like The Simpsons. The Simpsons and you has, hear, like, what, 20 something seasons? You hear people seasons? who are like, oh, I'm on my fourth rewatch. And I'm like, nah, I can't do Get, that. go and touch grass outside. Then again. Go and see the world. I'm also talking shit because I've watched the entirety of Friends probably about nine times throughout my life. I think that friends is probably our generation's comfort series more than yes. any other series in the world that's why on that leave the world behind movie no spoilers they put it in so much um that wasn't a spoiler was it but yeah. also do you like friends i think friends is overrated i think that I'm trying to get the audience to hate him i <laughs> i speak too nicely for that um no, that's i true. think that, that oh I, I think friends is i think that new girl and how i met your mother but specifically, New Girl is a better sitcom. New Girl's brilliant. New Girl is hilarious. New Girl's really good. Um, but I remember this as well. My, my 15th birthday, my mum knew I liked 50 Cent. 
I think it was my 15th, it might have been my 16th. So that's she was bad. like, um, I got the Get Rich or Die Trying movie for us oh, to watch Oh, that's tonight. so cool. It's just me and my mum. You think, have you seen the movie? Yes. Have you? Do you I actually have, yeah. yeah. There is a scene yeah. where he goes to prison yeah. and he has to fight in yeah. the shower yeah. and it, it, it like pan, it pans, it pans out and fifth. So like the fight is occurring and you're like, oh, it's about to go down. Yeah. And, and then, and then out pan and you see 50 turn around and he's like, I didn't know you could smuggle weapons into, yeah, into yeah, his yeah. prisons. Yeah. Baton. And I'm yeah. like, oh, he fuck. turns around and then like five minutes later, the rest of him does. And yeah. my mum was like, oh, interesting. And I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Your dad's making you watch Tits and Dragons. Your mum's making you watch 50 Cent prison smuggling index. nightsticks into prison. There you go. Yeah. Um, that's but, a great family, family holiday. No, right it's there. not. It's absolutely not. But I would say that's... What about you? Have you had the unfortunate incident? <gasps> not so what, much. Do you remember the first time you watched it with your parents? Like a sex scene with your parents? Because I can remember. I, 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 I genuinely can't. I was like, like five, six or seven maybe. Yeah. And we were watching Titanic. <laughs> Oh, what a fun. And it was that, but my yeah. mum fast forwarded that bit. But we were watching, and I remember this specifically, and I think it might have been like around Christmas time or December time, but I just remember it being winter, so it was really dark in the yeah. lounge. And my mum had obviously seen the movie, so she knew. And it was paint me like one of those French girls, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember it so specifically that my stepfather came up behind me as like, and I knew it was going down, like six-year-old me was like, Oh, it's coming. I'm gonna see some boobies. <laughs> so he's like, paint me like one of those French girls. This thing And ever. just out of nowhere, like I'm sitting there as like a six year old me, I'm like so stoked to see some titties. Of course. A, a, a hand comes across and I'm like clawing at this hand being like, how dare you steal this moment from me? Cause I could, like I said, I could, I, it was happening. And I think my mum was engrossed in the movie and then she was like, oh, do it! <laughs> it just, I just remember, like I said, this hand coming and like clawing away with his hand. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, please! One little peek! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Save it, save so it for the was, vault. I think that yeah. was the first time that I had that experience of... I can't, I can't recall ever... There was like, oh, actually, in the, in the second Fast and Furious. The, the... No, no, no. There's a moment when they all line up to race. Yeah, Ja Rule. She and comes up to him and she's like, yeah, she's this is like, all yours, if you, win, if you win. This is yours. Oh, that no. scene, oh, I had to no. look away for that scene. Was your, then, mom with, was your mom with you? Nah, my dad and I would watch these. Oh, that's fine. And then, I think it's worse with your mom. Super chillies. Um, My mom and I, my mom introduced me to Legends of the Fall. Phenomenal oh, film. Oh, Brad Pitt. Great film. I do have culture. I take back my comment. I've watched some damn good things. I'm going to be really honest with you. This we is, watched this The Beach the other day. I'm sorry, this is overstepping the mark. I'm going to be really honest with you. You know we share a Disney Plus account, but specifically your house. Yeah. I was really nosy. So Did you go check? Today, I went up to Disney Plus to watch some Kay. Disney Plus things. And this is my moment, mainly just my mom. I, I saw it and I was like, your yeah. mom is a type. Yes. She's watched every single cowboy movie, yes. cowboy romance film in the whole of Disney Plus. Anything will work out. And the thing is, is yeah. I can see because it's like eight minutes in and she was, Auntie Judy was like, no, <laughs> not for me. Nah. <laughs> Next yeah. one. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, yes, I'll be honest. I had a nosy. I did. I had a little, really? I had a little peek. A little peek. We, we had, so my family is on also, what, your the, account. The Buzz Lightyear, I've realised that your dad kind of looks like him. Is really? that why you chose Buzz Lightyear? When did I? Oh, no, no, no. Your, I, I, the... I chose it because I love Toy Story. Toy Story okay, was like my movie as a kid. The but you don't like Tom Hanks? Garbage. Huh? But you don't like Tom Hanks? I like Tom Hanks. I just don't understand. Because you don't have culture. <sighs> have you seen Big? No. Have you seen Sleeps in Seattle? Yes. Have you seen You Got Mail? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And I've seen... Where well, he books it. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that one as well. Can you imagine being like, yo, what is that Tom Hanks movie where he books it? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? That is what he does. He books it. He's a gangster. Oh, so I can't watch that movie again because it breaks my heart. It makes me sad. I'm sensitive with bullying. Lieutenant Dan. I'm sensitive with bullying, so I can't, I can't watch it? it. Yeah, I'll watch it once and never watch it again. No, I like... I like to, uh, listen, Tom, such a Tom Hanks has got... Pathetic thing to Tom say, Hanks though. has got just a phenomenal... Phenomenal... Um, He's got a great resume. Oh, his filmography phenomenal is ridiculous. Resume. Um, 
I was saying to you, watch the beach the other day. With Leo Yeah. Incredible. He didn't answer the question. What was the question? What was the most awkward time where you watched a, a, a nudie with your parents? Has it ever happened? I don't think I've ever watched a nudie with my mum. That's not. That's. Quite Excuse bad. me. No, that's no, quite bad. Seen it. Yeah. He's yeah. 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 Oh. Beep this part oh of the no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's that that's fucking rough. awful. Yeah. yeah. It's so bad. I can't recall. I watched Wall Street with, with, with my dad, and at the time, like, we had a thing in common that we both worked in the city when we were younger, in suits and stuff. He was yeah. like, "That's what it was like, wasn't it, boy?" I was like, "Was it, Dad? Was it? Was it?" Tell me about it. Did you throw people at walls and <laughs> sniff Anyways. white substance out of people's rear end? I didn't really have a... Ch I didn't really... You know, I, I didn't really... This this has to be bleeped. This is genuinely for us. But when I was younger... It's fine. Every I do all the posts. Every yeah. Saturday, every Saturday at 8 o'clock, Baywatch came on TV. Oh. And my dad would be like, Canan? I, don't, I didn't know the name of that show until I was like 12. Because in my head, that show was the show with the big bazookas. And I used to think that it's it was like, wrong. I used to think it was like guns. And I used to watch it and I was like, dad, where's the bazookas, Where are the guns, Where are the guns? Where are the bazookas? Yeah, yeah. When does someone get shot? <laughs> I got to yeah, like 12 yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh, titties. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bazookas equal titties. <laughs>